Hi, welcome to Science Chomp. Today we're going to be looking at Atwood Machines Part 4. Now this is a lot more complicated than before, but really um, all we're doing is we're uh, adding Sokotoa, so the trigonometry stuff. So that's sine, cosine, tangent, and of course we need F equals MA. Just like in the previous ones, we want to work out the acceleration and the tension in the string. So let's uh, first of all work that out. Um, Firstly, let's have a look at the forces. Now, this one is just going to be uh, M2G. M2G, because this one is my M1. Okay, That's straightforward enough. Let's use G as 10, and that will be 60 Newtons. Okay, And, and uh, we'll just put that aside for now. Let's have a look at this one, because this is a little bit more interesting. Now, what happens here is you have... Um, the mass which is going straight down like that okay now i've drawn this arrow really big and the reason for that is i want to spread it out make sure that you you fully know what i'm doing over here okay now perpendicular to the surface you got normal force okay and a normal force i'm going to write like that so that's f n now, we don't know the size of Fn for now, but just know that there's uh, an equal and opposite force going the other way. So that's Newton's third law, like this. And then parallel to this line, we can draw a vector going in that direction. Now, this is a right angle. This is 40 degrees. It's the same angle as this, right? This is your hypotenuse, and remember, this is uh, M1g. M1g being the mass times, uh, you know, uh, gravity. So that's going to be 20 newtons. So how do I work out uh, this this uh, vector here, which is the equivalent of uh, that force down there? Well. This one is opposite this angle. So if you use Sokotoa, opposite sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so sine theta, I'll write that over here. Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So if you want to work out uh, the opposite, which is this one, which is over here, it's uh, equals um, mg, which is the hypotenuse, times sine theta, which is 45. So just know that what I've done, you're, multi you're taking it over there, you're multiplying. So mg sine theta is what, we, uh, what we're after. So that's what I'm going to write over here, mg sine theta. Theta. Okay, let's use all of this information to work out the uh, acceleration. And of course, it's going to clearly accelerate down here because you've got 6 uh, kg over here, which is a lot more than 2 kg. So let's figure out exactly what happens. So as before, I'm going to combine my blocks. So you have 2 kg plus 6 kg. On this side, we have m2g, which is 60 newtons. And on this side, we have mg sine theta. Let's work that out. mg is uh, 20 times sine 40. Let me get my calculator out. 20 times sine 40, which equals 12.86 uh, 12 12 newtons. OK, like that. Now, in order to get the net force, big minus small. So it's the equivalent of 8 kg with uh, 60 minus 12.86. So 60 minus that, which is 47.14 newtons. And then it's simply uh, acceleration is F divided by M. OK. so. Um, Let's just push this up a little bit. So acceleration is F 
divided by m. The forces, net force is 47.14 divided by the mass, which is 8, um, which gives us 5.89 meters per second squared. So that's accelerating in that direction and down here at 5.89 meters per second squared. Okay, simple enough. Let's uh, work out tension. So if you've watched the previous videos, you probably generally got the right idea here. But let's just uh, do this uh, one more time. Okay, so now let's figure out how to uh, work out the tension. Now, just as before, what we want to do is we want to look at uh, one of these masses. You can either look at this one or this one. I'm going to have a look at that one. So what we have is we have a mass, which is 6 kg. You got 60 newtons down, and you got a tension force upwards. And uh, we know that the acceleration is 5.89 meters per second squared. And our equation is F net is equal to mass times acceleration. Mass is 6, uh, acceleration is 5.89. And your F net is going to be 60 minus the tension because it's bigger than the tension because it's accelerating downwards. So we've got this. So let's work all of this out. So uh, 60, sorry, 6 times 5.89 is 35.34 newtons. So 60 minus t is 35.34. Now what you do, that minus goes over to the other side, becomes a plus. That goes over the other side becomes a minus. So 60 minus 35.34 is equal to T. And so T is 24.66 Newtons. Simple as that. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.